Hey, 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 what the heck? Sorry, guys. Yes, I did speak to Mr. Dipudio, LO teacher, and he was like, We are tired of exercising. So, Sam Numzan, you can have my class. Yeah. Yes, guys, I'm here because of we have to push settlement. Please, guys, take up your textbooks because of we are moving to rural settlement. What is a rural settlement? We already know it. And most of you are definitely thinking, primary sector, Mr. Mnumzan. And we are definitely not wrong. But then primary activities or economic activities in general are not the only things that can actually shape a settlement or that can make people to actually settle. There's also what we call the site and the situation. Or we could say the physical factors. Yes, guys. Let me write it down so we could actually move on a smooth pace. So what do you think? Primary sector. But then it's not only economic activities. Not only economic factors which make people to settle, also they are physical factors. Yes, guys. Physical factors also influence why people settle. Yes, guys, and looking at this definitely summary of us, we definitely now understand that there are two factors in which makes people to settle. The first one has to be the economic factors, and the second one has to be the physical factors. And when we speak about the physical factors, you have to watch the video I dropped before this one, because of this is where we start to touch about the site and also the situation right this is where we touch the site and the situation of the settlement what is the site a site is definitely an exact location and its physical features you definitely heard me right i said an exact location and its physical features and the situation has to speak about the settlement and the accessibility of that settlement is it easy to access other settlements from where you are actually currently settling is there accessibility to your settlement and out of your settlement that is situation yes guys so so now we have to definitely name some most important physical factors in which lead to people deciding to settle. Let's go back to, let's say, your great-grandfather's brain, right? Because of you are full of cell phones and full of internet, you will just ask ChatGPT, ChatGPT, is this area suitable for me to settle with my family? That is your life. But then going back to your great-grandfather, what would he do? Obviously, for him to settle on an area, looking at physical features of the area the first thing that he would definitely look at it is the water visibility right is there water in that particular area because of we know water it is very very important right if water is very much that important that definitely tells us that water can actually combine communities and also separate communities if there's enough water why do we need to combine have your own space and i have mine because of there are a lot of streams there's enough precipitation why do we need to come closer to me but then if we have one stream then that definitely means the economy or the community has to move towards that river that permanent river uh, that permanent water source because of we only have one in the area we are living is dry so let's make an example let's say your great grandfather was actually born on a dry area and there was only one river which was called the Nguenyama river yes guys and definitely what would definitely mean it means this is your grandfather's settlement right and it is very very dry but then there's that one Gwenyama river which uh, courses through the settlement right it's very permanent it flows throughout the year right and then definitely what that will, what will that mean that will mean your grandfather will want to settle near the river why because of the the area here it is very very dry there's less precipitation there's less of everything there's no groundwater so they have to try to move to a permanent river or a permanent dam or a, it can be permanent anything or oh, spring right the groundwater they can move towards where there is 
permanent water source. So when people are living towards the permanent water source, what is this area called? This is definitely called our wet point site. This is our wet point site. And as we can definitely look at our wet point site, we can definitely tell another thing that this river also creates what we call a shape and it also creates what we call a pattern we remember patterns when we're talking about patterns guys you must read a question when you're looking at the question on the exam is it asking for pattern is this asking for shape is it asking for a site right what is the question actually asking what is it actually asking so if if they are saying what is the pattern right of the settlement what will you say the pattern of this settlement is definitely a nutriated pattern because of their houses are very much closely packed together it is a nutriated pattern but then another question was like okay what is the shape of this this is a linear shape guys yes i did do a lesson about shapes and pattern watch the video i did drop before this one so now we do remember this is a poor a wet point site why because of the settlement it is created alongside the permanent water source right because of it is located in a dry arid area right but then if it is definitely the opposite right here right if there's streams all over the shore right this is your your, your, your great grandfather settlement there's streams all over the shore right there's there's a lot of everything there's a good drainage basin and this area it is what it is very much wet this is a wetland that definitely means people do not need to move towards permanent streams of water, rivers they can just locate here someone might be here the other might be here and definitely when we are looking at this what pattern is this this is definitely our what we call let me try to do something that is very very nice again maybe something like this guys something like this right so when we are looking at this what is what pattern is this Remember, I said there are two patterns, mutated and a dispersed. This is definitely our dispersed pattern. But then what site is this? This is our dry point site. Yes, guys. And then when we're looking at the, the, the shape of the settlement, what shape is the settlement? We can say it is a T shape because of there's a T junction here, right? They are the settlement are uh, obviously around this T shaped. Then it is a dispersed pattern, but then with the T shape, and this is a dry point site. Can you definitely understand what's happening here? Very, very nice information. Yes, guys, and definitely water is not the only most important physical feature which influences people to settle. No, also, uh, let's say building material and also energy resources. Those are very important for people to settle. If I can see that there are a lot of trees in this area, right? There are a lot of trees in this area. That definitely would mean something, right? It would mean I can, I will have a lot of equipments to do what? To build whatever shacks in which for my livestock or for myself, my house, right? If maybe there's clay here, there's mud here, right? The soil is definitely what it is wet here. So it is easier to have clay and mud, right? To definitely do your, what we call your houses and your buildings. And definitely we could use the very same vegetation, obviously. Also maybe here there might be some vegetation here, those trees, those big trees, which we'll use for our energy source. Remember we said what? Okay, guys. So let me write it down so we could better understand. I said water. Number two, I said, okay. Number one is water. Number two, I said uh, resources. Resources, whether building material or energy resources. The energy resources such as your wood. They use wood, obviously, to cook to cook food. We use wood to, to burn it and cook food. That is part of a, 
energy resource, right? And then the third one, the third one is to be definitely the farming factors, guys. Farming factors is the land very much fertile for us to grow our food, right? Is it very fertile for us to settle and even not grow only our food, but then our livestock, can it be able to grow and overgraze there and eat whatever uh, vegetation it is found in that land? If maybe our end is our land is not fertile where we are settling, maybe the land surrounding us it is fertile. So it can allow our livestock to definitely eat and continue growing. Yes, guys. So we definitely said what we said. Uh, Land fatality is yes, guys. And then our fourthly, we can definitely say the relief, guys. The relief because of it definitely goes hand in hand with land fertility, right? Yes, what is a relief? I know you've seen this terminology a lot. Maybe some of you do not understand. It is a shape of a solid surface of earth. We definitely heard what I said. If it's a mountain, that is a solid surface. If it's a ground, that is a solid surface. And what shape is that solid surface of earth, right? So a relief speaks about shape of that solid surface of earth, right? And definitely we need people to settle. We need to find a very flat land right it must be flat not steep right it must be allowing for us to be able to build our shacks and stuff if you can't build your shack in a in a very steep uh, surface area right you have it has to be at least smooth or flat so we can have our shelters and stuff like that yes guys so water right and we know that the people want dry points and some want the wet point side and then the fifth one the fifth one has to be definitely uh, the, the, the positive effects which come with the microclimate. Your microclimate such as your definitely, uh, what is this? Slope aspect, right? Slope aspect definitely also influences why people definitely settle where they want to settle. And we know, right, we've done the lesson before that usually people want to settle in the invasion level, in the invasion layer, in the middle of the definitely uh, valley valley area, right? And not only in the middle. Remember, this is south and this is north. And if this is south, that means south is facing north. So the north facing slopes are very much warm. So people would definitely want to settle on the much warmer, on the much warmer north facing slope. So the slope aspect also influences why people settle in a particular area. Yes, guys, we can definitely understand what is happening here and the shapes that are usually targeted, the shapes that are usually taught. Okay, we said this is our teaching shape, this is our linear shape, right? We're already there. Then there's also this one, guys. This one is definitely our crossroads. There's a settlement here, there's a settlement there, there's a settlement. This is a road, right? This is the road they are built within the road. Or they could be built within a river that is uh, in an X shape. Who knows, right? So, a crossroad. This is a crossroad. This is a chi junction. This is a linear scale. And there's also a circular, which can be created if maybe there's also a dam. Remember, this was a river. Maybe if there's a dam here, right? This is our definitely dam. And definitely settlements will be now starting to surround the dam, right? around the dam this is how this settlement will be so what shape is this this is a circular shape definitely good guys we can definitely understand what is definitely happening here guys settlement it is you and i you are the settler so you have to enjoy this lesson because of you have to just put yourself in the shoes of why are we actually settling? Why? Why? What are we doing? What do you want when we're settling? And also the economic factors, we know the economic factors that lead people to settle. If the land is very fertile, if it is very much allowing, right, for commercial farming and stuff like that. Yes, guys. So make sure that you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Why? Because of we'll be moving to land use. This is a settlement series. We want to finish settlement and make sure that you like this video. Why? Because of 
I'm definitely getting more motivated when I see more of those likes and even when I see more of those comments. Guys, you know I read each and every comment. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Yes, guys, please let's remember the dry point site. Why? Because of people are afraid of flooding, right? People are afraid that if they move closer towards the river they might be flooded while here they have no choice this is a dry area they have to move towards the river or the main permanent water source and these houses are usually built on top of some things right they might be then there's a house here right there they might be some pillars under the house so that when there's a flood they are definitely safe okay guys how do we actually identify the wet point in a, a map right let's say this is our definitely map right and we know our map has what we call contour lines guys it has contour lines let's say this is our 20 this is our 40 this is our 60 right so what happens uh, the settlement there's a settlement here and here on 20 let's say there's a water here there's a river here that is flowing here there's a river here right so what does this tell you this is a definitely dry point site because of look at the altitude the altitude is going higher meaning they are very much away from the main river or the water source this is definitely we can say this is our isolated homestead which is on a dry point site right isolated homestead which is which is on a dry point site okay guys i forgot to say here microclimate yes microclimate such as your definitely invasion layers your wind your slope aspect this one definitely yes guys whatever are we missing nothing definitely nothing but then if the river was definitely flowing here if the river was definitely flowing here what site is this this is our wet point site this settlement it is located near towards the permanent water source yes guys same contour line they are very same height same altitude meaning they are in the same level yes guys as you can definitely tell this is how it's definitely done so make sure that you like this video subscribe to my channel why because of a lot of settlement geography will be coming through you can see when we are going to settlement i'm wearing this thing because of we are always talking about outdoorsy okay